a, win well, a, a, a welcome successful yes. win. I'm going to go the Auburn team total under 15 and a half. Like, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take for you, Freeze, to get this Auburn offense turned around. If, if you go back, since beating Georgia to end of the 2007, 2017 regular season, and, all, and Georgia wound up beating them in the uh, SEC title game to go to the college football playoff, Auburn has scored 10, 10, 6, 14, 10, and 7 in those games. Wow. It doesn't matter who the coach is, doesn't matter who the quarterback is, it all kind of coincides with Georgia's rise as the permanent college football program right now. And if you look at the two games against Power 5 opponents this year for, for Auburn, 14 points in a win against Cal with 230 yards, <laughs> 10 points and 200 yards last week yeah. uh, at AM, 3.6 yards per play in those two games. Like, if they, if they happen to score 16, 17 points, Fine. Maybe you get maybe you get a pick six. Maybe you get a non-offensive score like they did last week against uh, against A and M. But like, but they did that and still got ten last weekend. Correct. They had zero <laughs> zero chance of scoring an offensive touchdown. So I think they have major quarterback problems. You know, Auburn under fifteen and a half points. I like it. I like these team total unders. It's a good. I think it's a good place to be. It's a, it's a market people that's don't not. Yes. Bet them. That's yes. It. It's a market. I think a lot. Not a lot of people look at and team total under. I'm going to go with my best bet is just a straight under in the Friday night game in the Pac-12 between Utah and Oregon State. And look, Utah can't keep winning with a four string quarterback. Like they're going to, they're going to lose this game, but I have enough respect for them that I'm not going to lay the three and a half with, with Oregon state. Like I'm just not going to do that. So I look toward the under here, Utah's offense right now, again, Nate Johnson, they scored what? 26 points against Florida, 20 against Baylor, and then seven offensive points against UCLA. It's kind of gotten tiered down worse each and every week. They have less points per drive right now than Iowa does on offense. That's that is, that's an they, incredible. They, no, they, no. they just can't score. And it makes sense. It's not a knock on what Utah's at, but they're playing right. with a four string quarterback with the offensive line. That's young and not playing terribly well. Now they're on the road against an Oregon state defense that did not play well against Washington state, but I, they, almost, I almost took Oregon state, here. but they didn't play well because they passed the ball. Utah can't pass the ball. Right. Oregon state can stop throwing on the flip side. Utah's defense is remarkable. They're so good against the run. Oregon State will not be able to move the ball. DJU will, will throw some errors. He has not been very good right. the last couple of weeks. And so the under here at 44 and a half is, is, is my play. Utah's going to lose this game. They're going to lose the game. They can't keep getting away with, they cannot have their fourth power five win with a four string quarterback, but I have enough respect. I, I just can't lay three and a half with the Beavers against a Kyle Whittingham coach team. So we, we like under 44 and a half as opposed to what's the Utah team total? Utah I don't know what the team total, total is, but they is... but they score in defense though. That's the problem. What? I'm not going to tell you what it is. What What would you say is probably a prime score for this game? Oh, like a like a 2014 game. Utah's team total is 20 and a half. Oh yeah, you have to take the under on that. I think yeah, I would take the under that too. But again, they, they've scored on defense this year. Like, well, that's what they, they do. You they, speak like, defense. They can, they can make that happen. That's why I like the the unders for the, the both teams. They're going to run the football. It's a short week. Mm -hmm. Like this feels defense to me. It's a low number. Utah's got under by the way in four of their four games so far this year by ease. Like with ease, it was it was fourteen seven last weekend. So that was an unbelievable under. defensive performance last week. And and you, you kind of alluded to it. Earlier in the, in the on this show about how yeah. freshman quarterback going to Salt Lake first play of the game pick six yeah pick six that's why when talk about Penn State in the gambling group chat like it, I think we a little underestimate how tough that is for for a freshman quarterback to go in that situation but uh, that, those are our wages for the week Bear.